Okay, time for a slice is right. This is how I do this event. First thing I do is I turn off the UI to get rid of all the stupid names and all the extra information so I can see more. So you want to start right to the north side. Behind you will be the starting uh, person that lets you up here. You just want to wait here. The first couple are easy. If it's in, yeah, so that's so going to love, so you just stay where you are. And the second one, you want to make sure you're at a spot. So that's going to go pretty much where we were, so we got to go over here. And that sets us up perfectly for the third one. So I'm getting close to this one because it's going in the angle. We can get away from the circle. And now the dog comes out, and he's going to attack all the gill piles. So I'll go next to a gill, but I will not start picking up the gill until after I see which way the dog is facing. He's not facing towards me. See, he's facing right towards me, so I don't go to that one. And of course, got unlucky. So since I missed twice, I don't go for it at all. I just sit here and wait. Okay, so round two. Just like first round, you just stand right across from your Jimbo. And we're safe where we are, so we're gonna go start heading towards the side. It, Okay, so since it's, both of them are being circles, you want to go back to the edge. And now you want to point it so that you're between two. And ooh, this is going to be close. Okay, yeah. When it's like that for the three, you want to go as far back as you can to the edge. Okay, because it'll make a triangle for three of them. Four of them, it won't. Now at this point, it's all about RNG. So instead of me just guessing where I'm going to go, I just go dead center in the middle of the Lotus and let the RNG gods decide if I'm going to make it to the next round or not. Yep, yep, yep. All right. And this is how, this is basically, the, if you can get past this, you can pretty much get to the end. It's all about the RNG right here. Don't know. Yay! All right, so now I cut back here. And now what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to find the spot that's safe. We're currently in the threes, so it's the easy part. So I want to be over here. And now we're in fours. If you get two circles next to you, you're done. There's nothing you can really do about it. That, that's perfect. Last one. Perfect. We will be safe. And that's how you beat it. First time I've done it, the first time I won on this character. Okay, so since I'm up here after winning the slices right, I'm gonna show you where you want to stand for any way the wind blows. I'm on the south side of the circle and you want to look at this cactuar and you want to come out here to this little sliver right here in this little circle. If you go too far back, you'll get this outer ring. If you go too forward, you'll get this circle right here. So you want to be right here and this will be your best bet because then the only things that can hit you is the pie wedge or if he goes down the middle, straight down the middle. Those are the only two that will hit you, so that you have the best odds of just standing right here, 